Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about Lorraine Williams. This is specifically a response to Shadzar, um, who came on, it's one of the comment. He, he came on my videos and commented, and what he did was he did a response, he did a, he did a, a, a video about Lorraine Williams, and it's specifically a Ryan Dancy hit piece about Lorraine Williams, and Shadzar's like, hey, Scott, listen to this video that, that trashes Lorraine Williams and learn that her lame Lorraine Williams really was a terrible, terrible CEO of Dungeons and Dragons, right? Nice try, Shadzar. I will respond to you. One, before I like explain why you're wrong six ways to Sunday on everything, um, I will, I do want to say thank you for coming on and um, and so Shadzar requested this response video, right? And I really appreciate when people ask for um, response videos that one, deserve a response, and then on their channel say, hey, I got this content here, listen to this content, and then respond to it, right? So I appreciate that, Shadzar. And I also appreciate, Shadzar, that you're presenting evidence for your position, right? Your evidence is completely wrong. I'm gonna about to tear it to shreds, but let's but I appreciate that you put up evidence, right? Okay. All right, let's let's go. All right, so um, <laughs> so Shadzar, great job. You found a white you found a white male who is really upset that there was a female CEO of Dungeons and Dragons for eleven years. Uh, maybe you could find an American Robin. Like it would probably be a little less difficult, right? Like, uh, by the way, in case anybody's wondering, um, the list of white males who are really upset that there was a female CEO of Dungeons and Dragons between 1986 and 1997 is very long and it has a lot more people on it than Ryan Dancy, right? Now, who's Ryan Dancy? He was like a designer and a producer for Dungeons and Dragons 3rd edition. He actually accomplished a ton for Dungeons and Dragons, but he has some really incredibly regressive and quite possibly misogynistic ideas about uh, about Lorraine Williams. So let's get into it. So uh, Shadzar's video says that um, Ryan Dancy, it's Ryan Dancy speaking and giving like, telling people what happened when he was brought in by Peter Atkinson, the CEO of Dungeons and Dragons in 1997 to fix the debacle that Lorraine Williams had done, right? So Ryan Dancy, here's what Ryan Dancy says. He goes, I read the spreadsheets. I went to the TSR offices and everyone was sad, right? And I read the spreadsheets and the spreadsheets said two things. They said, there are extra books in the warehouse and there's debt on the ledgers, right? And, and I'm supposed to go, ooh, Shadzar, you've proven me wrong. No, you did not. I'm about to, so like Shadzar, come on, man, please, right? You seem like an intelligent person. The fact that you're making your own content on YouTube is cool, right? Just take the blinders off your eyes for a minute, right? Just think about what you're, what you're actually saying and what Ryan Dancy is saying, right? So here's the thing, right? Um, first of all, uh, is it, um, am I supposed to be upset because when, um, you know, uh, yeah, when Lorraine Williams became CEO of Duns and Dragons, uh, there were extra books in the warehouse and there was some debt on the ledger. First of all, um, <laughs> the fact that there was still one E books on the, in the warehouse, who cares, right? CEOs don't care about that. Right. And the fact that you do care about that means you ain't paying attention to what Lorraine Williams actually did. Right. Uh, big companies have extra stock. Duh. Like, you know, like that's not a, that's like a, a point against Lorraine Williams Two, There's debt on the ledger. Oh no. Was there debt on the ledger? Shad's are. Uh, I want you to wake up and just look at the world right now. You know what the biggest company in the world right now, one of the biggest companies in the world right now is Amazon. They, they had zero revenue for like 18 years, right? They built, they built one of the biggest companies in the world on leverage debt, right? Like it's, it's ridiculous, right? Um, they made no money for a for a super long time, right? The whole world is running with companies that are not making profits for years and years and years, right? Lorraine Williams was not worried about debt on the ledger because she was a baller, fantastic CEO who knew what she was doing, right? And what did she do, right? What she did was she picked up the vase of Dungeons & Dragons that Gary Gygax had smashed on the ground. You know when Gary Gygax smashed 
the vase of Dungeons and Dragons on the ground in 1981 to 1983, when he often went off and thought, you know what? Um, I checked, I picked the Blooms Brothers, I hand picked the Blooms Brothers to run this place. I'm going to just go and have fun in, uh, in, you know, I'm going to go build a cartoon in 1981, 1983 and take my eye off the ball, even though I'm actually still a leader in the company and I'm not going to make sure that we're financially sound. Right. It wasn't the Blooms Brothers problems that, that, you know, they weren't the one that ran the company in the ground. It was Gary Gygax never giving up, um, executive control, never giving up, uh, creative control and thinking he could do both when he clearly couldn't. Right. He might've been able to do either one, but he couldn't do both. And he proved it. Right. And the thing is, so what happened is that, um, Dun Gary, like literally just picked D and D smashed it on the ground in 1986. And the whole thing was, you know, broken. And Lorraine Williams came back and she glued that sucker to get back together. She glued the Dungeons and Dragons vase back together. Right. And then she a made new vases. What are the new vases she made? Uh, Spelljammer, which is a setting that we're about to be celebrating right now. Real value, real money, real power invested into the name of the Dungeons and Dragons because it had an actual setting that people thought was cool and people still think is cool today. 100% created under Lorraine Williams. Lorraine Williams is responsible for Spelljammer. Ryan Dancy forgot that part, didn't he? Oh, and I wonder why he forgot that part maybe because she's a female CEO and that outrages a lot of white males, including Ryan Dancy. Yeah, I think that's the reason, right? In addition, uh, she created uh, she created Planescape. She's responsible for, for Planescape. Planescape would not have happened without Lorraine Williams, okay? You need to understand that. And Ryan Dancy didn't understand that. He, how, oh, he just uh, forgot that. He didn't forget it, right? She delivered, Right, she she is the CEO of Dungeons and Dragons between 1986 and 1997, and I'm tired of you, Shadzar. I'm tired of Davy Chappie, and I'm tired of a a, a list of ten thousand other white males, right, who are saying, um, and you know, who are saying that that she didn't do an incredible baller CEO job. She did. She made sure that the value of the Dungeons and Dragons name continued to grow. Right. She she created uh, Planescape. She created Dark Sun. It is the responsibility of Lorraine Williams that she brought Brahm in and changed the art style and the art quality of Dungeons and Dragons for a long time. Brahm is one of the greatest artists to ever work on Dungeons and Dragons. She brought him in. Lorraine Williams is responsible for Dritzto Worden, right? Number one character in all of Dungeons and Dragons, and still by far um, the most successful uh, book series that's ever been in Dungeons and Dragons. I believe it has created, has outpaced Dragon's Lance. If I'm wrong on that one, somebody tell me. All right. Um, so, and, and frankly, you know, without, um, Drift to Orton, I don't even think the Dragon Lance would have had the, the sellership that it had. She created incredibly powerful uh, Council of Worms. This truly innovative, the game is Dungeons and Dragons. She created the only, the only setting that is truly focused on dragons, right? She innovated, she protected, she carried. She did a fantastic job. And Shadzar, you are blind to not see the incredible work that Lorraine Williams did. And I'll tell you right now, I am not going to sit back and relax while people like you do revisionist history against a truly epic, progressive, truly social benef socially beneficial accomplishment we had one of the first, I think we did have the first female CEO in all of tabletop role-playing games, and she guardianed Dungeons and Dragons for 11 years, and we are still benefiting from her accomplishments today, and people like you, Shadzar, and people like Ryan Dancy, and people like Davy Chappie, and a whole bunch of other white males are getting in line to say this female CEO of, of Dungeons and Dragons doesn't count. She does. And you're forgetting her accomplishments and you're being selective and frankly, you're being foolish. Right? Lorraine Williams is a champion of Dungeons and Dragons and frankly, I really think you're incredibly small-minded to not see what she accomplished. And Ryan Dancy talked about crying in the bathrooms of TSR, right? Um, when he saw that there were books in the warehouse and dead on the ledger. Ryan Dancy didn't cry in the bathrooms of TSR because he was 
uh, because there were books in the warehouse and dead on the ledgers. He cried in the bathroom because he saw that a woman had controlled Dungeons and Dragons for 11 years and accomplished so much that Peter Atkinson was right in line to buy Dungeons and Dragons and carry it into its next, like, tw I think we were in 25 years, right? She made sure that Gary Gygax's mistakes were fixed and that she added value to Dungeons and Dragons. And when she handed it off to Peter Atkins, she did it because she knew Peter Atkins had millions of dollars to continue to build the brand. She was incredibly important and she is no longer with us. And it is outrageous that anyone is writing this revisionist history that she was anything but one of the greatest champ, the number two champion of Dungeons and Dragons. Number one, Gary Gygax. Number two, Lorraine Williams. And anybody who doesn't see that, there's a reason for it. And I'm betting it's misogyny. The guarantee, right? Like, I, I really feel that's the case, right? Because if you look at the facts, she built Dungeons and Dragons. She protected Dungeons and Dragons. And to claim, and to, you know, look at, like, some, some ridiculous spreadsheet nonsense, like... Tons of companies run on debt, right? Like that, that's absurd. What's important is is your name known, and Dungeons and Dragons is known world freaking wide, and that comes from Lorraine Williams. It is outrageous. And by the way, Ryan Dancy, quick note: when you're trying to call somebody out for being professional, maybe you don't say that you cried in the bathroom at work, right? Because uh, you know it's maybe you wait until you get home to cry in the bathroom. And if you're calling somebody out for being unprofessional, maybe that's not the best time to say that you cried in the bathroom at work. It's a little unprofessional, right? <laughs> right. So all that's my opinion. What do you think about Lorraine Williams? Do you think Shadzar is right and that, Lorraine, and that Lorraine Williams actually was a bad CEO? Or do you see what I see and say, and say, oh, yeah, uh, Brom, um, uh, you know, Spelljammer and Dritzda Worden and Council of Worms and Planescape, Planescape is brilliant, beautiful setting. And, you know, all these amazing settings that were built directly under hers and that are frankly better than a, like Pelinor. Like Pelinor was, uh, was under Gary, right? Oh, and take a look at all the great settings Ryan Dancy was over. Jack and Door, <laughs> like, <laughs> legit. Look at the settings of third edition and see if one of them are, is worth even shaking a stick at, right? Lorraine Williams was a baller female CEO champion of Dungeons and Dragons. We need to stop this revisionist history. Uh, and uh, Shadzar, nice try. <laughs> uh, that's all my opinion. I'd love to hear any thoughts anybody has on uh, Lorraine Williams. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like, liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful morning.